on to this now. Chefs from around the world have been celebrating French cuisine this week. It's part of the fifth edition of the Good France Food Festival. Chefs will prepare a four-course French menu using seasonal and eco-friendly produce. The course restaurant in Santon is one of over 3,000 participating. And to tell us more, I'm joined in studio by Chef Wandile Mabaso. A happy Saturday to you and thank you so much for joining us. Why are we celebrating French cuisine this week? Yeah, well, it's, it's an annual celebration. Um, it takes place at this time of the year all over the globe. So literally about 3,000, over 3,000 restaurants are participating and the chefs are cooking French-inspired food. And this is to celebrate French gastronomy and what it's done for the industry. What has it done for the industry? Yeah, well, French cuisine has actually influenced the way we cook today uh, on a professional level. If you go to culinary schools, all the terms, all the techniques on the textbooks, everything is pretty much French. Sure. What is a typical French meal? You know, when you talk about a typical, maybe Zulu meal or whatever, I'm talking out of my head here. It's probably not true. Maybe Ukhodu or something. So what would the French eat typically? Well, I mean, the reality is we all eat the same thing, like Ukhodu, tripe, chicken feet. It's not a South African thing, you know, it's... Uh, so it's okay. Yeah, we all Fantastic. eat. Italians eat tripe, French eat tripe, Chinese eat chicken feet. So it's all about how you prepare it and, and the flavor that you get out of it is nice. the difference. So with, with French food, I think it's, it's very refined. Obviously, they started refining their food a long, long time ago. So it's more refined and it's more uh, got a scientific approach. And the modern French cuisine is actually about expression, about color. And as you can see what I've put together here, it's all colorful and it expresses probably the weather, the time of the season and so on. Let's get into that. It smells so good. What do yeah. you have for us here? Okay, so today it's, I mean, I know it's autumn, but it's still hot out here in Joburg. So I've prepared something uh, which is an amuse bush for tonight, which is a, a starter, a light starter. Uh, this is at the course restaurant for Good France. Um, so this is a salmon which is cured. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's cured in sugar and salt, uh, and then we leave it in beetroot juice. That's why it turns red. Uh -huh. And then underneath it, we have uh, avocado mousse. Uh, and then on top And that would be this? Yes, th that would be that. So what do you do with your avocado? Do you like blend it? And yeah, well, you mash it, uh, and then you cook a little bit of curry and onion on the side, uh, and then you mash the avocado, and then you mix that in there. It so it gives it absolutely a, divine. a curry flavor. Just the oven and, and then oil. we've got pickled uh, cauliflower. We've got also a little bit of caviar on there. And this is obviously just to celebrate what's in season as well. You know, everything that we have in there is in season. We've got a little bit of lemon confit. And then on the side there is a coriander sauce, the green one. Uh, oh, so that's different to the avo. Yes, avo. yes, sure. completely different, yeah. And these are ingredients that you probably can like easily get. You don't need to... Yeah. <coughs> this you can get anywhere, uh, any supermarket, any vegetable market. And like I said, you know, um, the, the concept this year for Good France is all about sus sustainability. Yeah. So sustainability is all about um, preparing stuff that's around you stuff that's in season, uh, um, less uh, importing ingredients and just respecting what's around you in season. So everything here yeah, is available and it's in season and it's at its peak at the moment. So if I'm someone who's about to plan my day and I've got visitors coming through but then oh, load shedding, is this <laughs> something that you can do without electricity? Definitely, definitely. Okay. I mean I, would, I can safely say that nothing here is, is, is cooked in fire. Yeah. You know everything is cold, it's a cold dish, the, the, the fish itself is cold it's, it's cooked by the sugar and the salt uh, eventually avocado cold and the pickled cauliflower is in vinegar and so on so everything is is cold so you can uh, but what I suggest with load shedding however especially in winter because you do need warm yeah. food I would suggest that when there is a time to prepare and electricity please prepare in bulk <laughs> <laughs> prepare in bulk and somehow get a, a small gas stove that you can reheat your food in yeah, but that's probably the best. But other than that, you can follow this route here, which is cold food, and I think is very healthy as well. In the absence of that, and you mentioned a very good point that we're going into winter, and in order to manage yourself, instead of driving around for like an hour looking yeah. for an outlet that's open, what are some of the meals that you can make that don't demand electricity? Well, you can have a salad. <laughs> you can have a salad. <laughs> but, <dead> cold. <laughs> but 
anything to cook you do you do require some kind of heat and yeah. that's why I recommend you use gas uh, obviously gas you can use it at any time but I would say you prepare everything beforehand yeah. and then use gas just to reheat it up but other than that you should look uh, at alternatives of cold food as well we're always reminded who's got the power in this country thank you very much exactly. <laughs> for joining us chef Wendy Lemaba so giving us a sneak peek of the good Fra France food experience let's check